that. Could you just, just talk us through Cristiano Ronaldo's performance from your perspective? Well, he made a difference for sure with his uh, three goals. Um, but not only because of the three goals, I think that was <coughs> the best performance from him, at least since I arrived, um, on and off the ball. Um, yeah, but I think the whole team showed exactly that kind of reaction that we expected to, to show after the poor second half at the Etihad. And uh, yeah, coming back after two equalizers um, showed also the, the mentality of the team today. <coughs> Sorry? You mentioned just now, and you've made a point in other interviews about Cristiano being good off the ball as well, you know, sort of closing down, being part of the team. Is that something, you know, you specifically worked on with him? Because, you know, there has been a criticism, but he hasn't got the legs to do that, is that? Well, today he showed for sure that he's uh, physically capable to do that. Uh, but we also have to admit that it has not always been like that in, in the past couple of weeks and months. And therefore today it was really important that he showed exactly that, and that he's still in a shape, physical shape, that he can perform on that kind of level. And uh, this is exactly what we need for the for the rest of the season, for those ni nine games that we need to play or have to play in the, champ in the, in the Premier League, but also on Tuesday in, in the Champions League against Atletico. I realise Cristiano will make the headlines, but can I ask you about Fred, about the game he played today, what he brings to your team? He described himself as not the most technical player a couple of weeks ago. He, 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 yeah. uh, who, he himself yeah, described yeah. himself. Yeah, but I mean, he's, uh, he's probably together with Scott McTominay, the best ball winner, the best player in, if the other team is in possession, but he also showed today uh, in quite a few counter-attack and transitional moments that he's also able to play uh, perfect balls. He gave the assist to, to the first goal of Cristiano, so for, also from, from Fred that was one of the best performances uh, since I'm here. Rob, um, I'm sure people from Atletico watched the match today. Is this the kind of atmosphere that you will need on the game on Tuesday? Yes, but it's up to us. Uh, the atmosphere is always like that if we play like we did today. Against West Ham it was similar and uh, in quite a few other games at home. But uh, it's up to us to, to play on that level and maybe even 10 or 20 percent uh, higher than that level that we play today. Um, we know about the physicality of the Atletico team. Uh, we saw in the first half in Madrid uh, what can happen if you don't uh, meet those demands physically. And this is what we have to do. Um, we have one day less in order to recover compared to them because they played last night. But I think, uh, yeah, the game today, the result, and the way that we performed uh, will definitely give us a boost. And there, there have been some questions about the mentality of your team, and that you, you've had leads and then been pegged back towards the end of games. You know, given the quality of the opponent and the fact that you were twice pegged back today, but then went without a winner, do you think you've, you've answered some of those questions today, possibly? Well, before we left the locker room, uh, before the, the kickoff, I said to the team, it's, uh, everybody was gutted, was, was frustrated, disappointed in the locker room after the derby at the Etihad. And uh, today is the best possible day, the best possible venue, uh, the best possible opponent um, in front of 75,000 to show the reaction that we needed to show. That was the only answer that we could, that we could give after that game. You can lose against Manchester City, no doubt about that. Other teams also lose there, but the way that we played in the second half there was just not Manchester United-like, and uh, that was exactly the kind of reaction that we needed to show. Okay, Laurie, and then we'll do the Mondays. Um, could you sense that kind of performance from Cristiano today? And, and when he's in that kind of form, do you understand the concessions that might need to be made in terms of the attacking lineup? We were just joking a little bit. Uh, uh, maybe it makes sense to um, send him to Portugal for three days, uh, then having not trained for two days, and then having back in training on Thursday. By the way, he performed on a, on a similar kind of level on Thursday in training. That's why I decided after that training session, uh, although he had been out for a week, uh, to play him from the start. And maybe we have to do that for the rest of the season.